pare, no? I'm just curious. Ano ba tong kotse binili mo? <laughs> This is a, a 2018 Mazda 3 hatchback. Hi, auto buyers. This is Vince, and we're here with my good friend Miko. Hi, guys. I'm Miko, and we're here to review my new 2018 Mazda 3 hatchback. All right, let's roll. So, I'm currently employed. I'm a key accounts manager, and at, at the same time, I run a vape shop in uh, Paranaque. It's called Drip Shop Vape Lounge. You should go check it out if you vape. Since you told me, no, you're an entrepreneur and you also have a day job. So how do you manage both? How does your typical day like this using this vehicle? Actually, kapag ganon pare, pag sa day job, sa pare rota ako, sales ako eh. So ginagamit ko siya uh, araw-araw, punta ako Cavite, punta ako ng Quezon City, taon Taguig, Taytay, pare. Sa business naman, pare, um, usually kukuha ako ng mga stocks para dun sa vape shop, kakarga ko sa likod. Maganda dito kasi hatchback, so fold ko yung seats, karga ko dun lahat ng mga gamit ko. Kasi naman, pare, yung space is more than enough kasi hindi naman ako nagkakarga ng mga sako, di ba? Oh, no. uh, mga bote-bote lang, mga equipment, yeah, ganyan, mga bag, pare, yan. Okay siya, okay siya pang, pang everyday, uh, casual driving everyday. Tapos, from time to time, dala ka ng mga uh, business-related sa akin, well, sa akin, mga juice, mga, uh, mga vape mods, yan, ganyan. So, yun, ganun-ganun lang siya. This is actually my first brand new car. Uh, my first car was a Lancer GSR in two-door variant. So I sold it, and then uh, I bought the 1995 BMW E36. And yun tapos uh, I sold that also. Uh, I bought this um, Mazda 3 hatchback because of form and function. I bought this in Mazda Makati. Pare yung yung ahente doon pare magaling. His name is Juancho Anduiza. Oh, oh for the buyers, you heard it first, <laughs> huh? Oh. Mazda Makati. You know who to look for. His name is Juancho Anduiza. Juancho Anduiza. Pare magte-text pa sa akin yan. Sabi niya, "Sir, kumusta yung kotse?" So, wala ka follow up lang. Oh, pare, sabi ko, pare, okay to ah. Kahit tulog na ako. <laughs> Okay. Actually, itong vehicle na to pare, um, pinagpili ako ito. Medyo matagal na akong nagpili. Pinagpili ako siya versus uh, Honda Civic versus this one. It's just that, yung mainly because of the hatchback configuration nito, kaya ako siya uh, one of the considerations. Aside from parang yung pound per pound features nito, like parang mas na ano lang ako. Mas nabilib lang ako, kumbaga. How does it exactly feel now that you're as a driver? It feels safe. It feels really safe. It feels kind of kind of rigid when you drive it. Parang sobrang responsive niya. You turn left, you turn right. So sunod siya yung kotse. Parang minimize yung body roll, kumbaga. Para sa 2 liter, parang matipid. Ang city drive ko, siguro nasa mga 9 to 10 kilometers per liter. Pag mixed city traffic and highway, uh -huh. siguro pare na sa mga 13. Tapos nung one time, inakit ko sa Baguio, highway drive. Pare, guess the number. Hindi, pare, more. More? Oh, pare, more. 18. 18, 17, yes. 18, 17. Uh, okay siya, di ba? Oh, pare. What features do you really love about this? 
car? Um, the main feature that I love about this car, maybe is the sport mode. May may iniyari sa transmission din na parang mas nsa, mas reactive, mas engaged oh. pare. Okay. Ganon siya. So talagang pag ano, piniga mo siya, pipiga talaga siya. It's very good in corners. Actually, parang the steering wheel niya is very communicative in a sense that I know, I really know where I'm going. Parang pag example, pag tinutok mo siya sa right, talaga alam mo yung nose puputa sa right talaga. Hindi siya yung parang ano, hindi siya yung parang medyo alangan yun. In fact, when I brought this up to Baguio, pare, yung sa Canon, sa zigzag, pare, I was doing sa corners, I was doing like 60. Oh, pare, pero okay siya. Hindi siya yung kinakabahan ako na shit, baka dumula sa car or something. Okay siya. Oh, susunod talaga siya. Turn it right, it turns right. Well, yakap, no? it will turn right. Pero yakap, yun yung sasabi ko. Tama yung term mo, yakap. On everyday driving, um, it comes with automatic uh, wipers. So, example, medyo mabasa lang yung windshield. Mag-wipe siya mag-isa. Oh, this is a feature, huh? Oh, buddy. You know about that. Oh, tapos <laughs> automatic dimmers sa gabi. Di ba usually yung coach may, may ano ka dito? Yep. Kanyari nakakasilaw. Oh. Ito pari, automatic magdidim siya. Tapos pag nawala yung nakabright sa likod mo, maglalighten up siya automatically. And then, so lighting outside, it has adaptive headlights. Mm -hmm. Meaning to say, pag, pag nilikom yung steering wheel, susunod yung ilaw, this direction. Oh, that's why kanina, when you're making a turn, I noticed that there was a gradual... Oh, lumiliko siya, pare. Liliko siya sa direction. And then, it's automatic also. Na, example, dumayang ka sa tunnel na madali. Mm -hmm. Mag-on siya mag-isa. Pag lumiwanag, mag-off siya ulit. Siguro kasama niyo yun sa merong sinasabi si Mazda na parang Jin Baitai or parang the, the yes. how, how do you call it the, the Jin Baitai, di ba? Parang the rider and the, the horse, something like that. Na talagang focus kasi sa driving. Tapos bahala na yung kotse na mag-on ng ilaw, bahala na siya i-dim to, bahala na siya lumiko, mag-wiper. Basta ikaw ang drive ka lang. Tapos pag traffic, it's 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 very comfortable here inside. Uh, meron siyang dual zone climate control. Okay. So pwede ko nyari niya, alamig ka, pwede iba yung temperature mo. Iba yung temperature ko. And then, leather yung seats, seats everything upholstered. Parang semi-bucket yung feel. Uh, up to the sidings, it's really soft. Soft touch materials. Pretty good, pretty good. Tapos may ano pa, I don't know, minsan may init eh. Pero sunroof, not bad, di ba? You don't need it, but it's good to have. I also noticed, you have a specific hub display there. Ah, yeah! Oh, parang nasanay na ako, hindi ka nang siya napansin. Hindi mo nang siya napapansin. Oh, it's called, it's a overhead display. It features basically, you can see here your speed. Yung mga, nagbabasa nga yung mga speed limit sa kalye. Tapos, andito rin yung information on your cruise control. So, there's some cruise control. I can turn it on or off. Set the speed here on the steering wheel. Uh, aside from that, automatic side mirrors. So you don't have to, you know, manually fold it. You can fold it from the inside. In terms of the infotainment system? Infotainment, it's good. Everything here is reachable. Na parang it naturally, you can naturally control from here. Parang automatic pag bagsak ng kamay ko nandito na siya agad. Oh, I don't have to reach out and you know adjust things. I just have to put my hand here, rest it here, and then uh, adjust the volume, the station. I can connect it to my phone, Bluetooth, and everything. The only downside of the infotainment of Mazda is that uh, hindi siya pare supported ng uh, they call it Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Wala, wala siya nun pare. Yun lang, yun yung, yun, yung, yun yung factor na missing. Aside from not having the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay, pare pag naka-on yung sport mode, yung con niya is that matutuwa ka dun sa acceleration. Pare, lalax naman yung consumption mo. Siyempre, ano talaga eh. 
Ganun yung pahari pag inapaha mo trailer lang kasi talaga isa ka. Upang talaga. Parang ito. Diba? So, medyo tipid lang pahari, diba? What's the best experience that you've had so, you've had so far in driving this? Maybe the smell. The smell and the overall feel of it. Because when you drive a car, or maybe when you're choosing a car to buy, it's like you're looking for a feeling of communication between you and the machine. It's like it's like it's like the car has to talk to you. Oh, because it means then you sit in a car, you put your hands on the steering wheel, you try to communicate with the car. But sometimes, if the car isn't for you, parang the car doesn't talk back in a way na parang sinasabi ng kotse sa iyo, hindi ako para sa iyo. Nararamdaman mo 'yun eh. Actually, hindi ko na siya ma-explain. Nararamdaman mo lang siya. Na parang para sa akin tong kotse nito. Pare, it's no regrets. No regrets. No regrets. Regrets. <laughs> no regrets. Thanks for taking the time, ah. Huh? Thanks for having me and my Mazda in your first very first 2018 review. It's actually an honor as well. I've never been on camera. So I'm kind of, you know. <laughs> And thanks for the viewers also tuning in. Uh, you can like Auto Buyers Philippines Facebook page, Instagram, where you can, um, you know, basically get the perspective of the actual car owners' reviews, not the you know endorsers, you know, but actual people doing actual reviews. Get the pros and cons and everything like that. So I hope this is very, um, I hope this is helpful in a way of like giving you a grasp of how a vehicle drives in real world, real time. It's kind of hard when you're actually driving and talking to the camera, you know. But, you know, thank you for your time watching this. Thank you. That's it. All the buyers Philippines. Bye-bye. Bye. Pari, kanina pa ako nagsasalita. <laughs> alas dosi na, gutom na ako. Pasado, alas dosi na. Paburger na mga yun, dalawa dyan sa likod. <laughs> Kaya tayo, pari. Gutom na ako. Sige, tigil mo dyan, tigil mo dyan. <laughs> Alright. Ayos, ayos. Tara, tara. Okay. Tayo.